okay. Are, are, are you ready to start a show? There, there's, there's a lot going on today. We have a lot to talk about, so let's get the music started. Okay, here's what that means. I want you to check in. Let me know who you are and where you are from. Get involved. Get into it. I want to hear from you. I want to talk to you. I want your comments right here on the show. So, turn up the volume. Write your name on the page. Let me know who you are. I'm Rusty Humphreys. And we're going to start in just a couple minutes. La, 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 ba ba Let's make sure it's on pages. So, yeah, so tell me your name, where you're from. It's going to be a lot of fun tonight. It's not going to be a long show, though. I'm getting, I'm going out of, I'm going out of the country in matters of moments. Okay. Start the official show. Here we go. Yeah, we don't want to do anything to scare your children. That's the last thing we want to do. That's the direct order. Do he's been put down, ripped off, cut open. Now, he's unleashed. Unleashed. Oh, the American insurgency starts now. This is Rusty Humphreys, Rebellion Radio. Well, hello and uh, welcome. How are you? My name is Rusty Humphreys. And this is the Rusty Umbreach Rebellion. We are powered by the nice folks at Official Right Wing News. Oh, look at my hair. It's all messy. I got messy hair. We are sponsored tonight by... uh, Well, first of all, I want to thank the nice folks at Liberty One TV. We're going to start working with them. And that should be a lot of fun. And I'll tell you about that as we get closer. Um, tonight's show, we're sponsored by a number of great people. But um, tonight's show, we are brought to you by thetoymaker.com. Now, what in the world is thetoymaker.com? That's a good question. I'm so glad you asked me. Not asked, but axed. It is a great website for you to go with your kids or grandkids and do things together. Folding paper toys that you can make yourself. They do things with the holidays. You can see holidays. There's free toys. And, and, and what you do is, is you click on the website and you download the toys. And then you put them together with the kids. So from the workshop of Marilyn Scott Waters, she says, Welcome to my odd little world of paper toys, holiday cards, valentines, sun boxes, baskets, bags, origami, and more. All for you to make. Her goal is to help grown-ups and kids spend more time together making things. They want to amuse and delight. So please, go to thetoymaker.com, sign up for their newsletter, get some free toys, see what else they have, support them, get the Math Carnival book. It's all downloadable. It's all great. Okay? It's it's easy squeezy. Let's see here. uh, Who's work? Who's uh, who's hanging out with us tonight? By the way, short show, because I'm going, I'm leaving on a jet plane. I'm getting up really early and I have to I'm going to Romania. I'm gonna go to I'm getting on a plane. I'm going to Paris. I'll be in Paris for like five hours. I don't know what you can do in Paris for five hours. Does anybody know can can you get off out of the airport and do anything in five hours, get back on a plane and go someplace else? Does anybody if you know, please let me know. I should post that on Facebook. Oh, one other thing I gotta tell you about. There's a new app I'm into, and I'd really like you to download it. Go to your app store and find an app called Hear Me Out. It's this little, uh, the one that has the little uh, megaphone on it. See that little megaphone? It's called Hear Me Out. And what it is, it's like Twitter, but with voice. And I'm too lazy to go on Twitter all the time. And so all I do is, is I got to go on on here and I will speak and then it'll go to you. It'll be a lot of fun. And it's only 40, 42 seconds, I think, is the maximum amount of time. So, for example, earlier today, I just did a quick one. Let's see. Can I can I play it? Oh, very 
very sad. Just a few moments ago, Fats Domino, the legendary rock and roll singer from the 50s, he passed away at age 89. If you don't know who he was, he was cool. And this was a big, big song in the 60s. Uh, that's it. It's 40 seconds. And so do me a favor. Go to hear me. It's hearmenow.com. Or hear me, or sorry, hear me out on your uh, Google Play Store for your Android or for uh, your iPhone and download the app and then find me. It's just Rusty Humphreys. It should be easy to find. And then follow me. And then I'm going to have all kinds of stuff, especially on my trip, like tomorrow and when I get to Paris and when I'm going to Romania, I'm going to do a lot of uploading on here because it's quick and easy. So I'd love for you to follow me on there. Again, it's called Hear Me Out. Hear me out. It's got a little megaphone. Hear me out on the iStore and uh, and Google. Okay? Do that, would you please? Matter of fact, make yourself a note and follow me on that because that's going to be a lot of fun. Who's checking in tonight? Chris is in Cleveland, Ohio. How you doing, Chris? Why are we stuck? Darn. I, there we go. Peggy checking in from Missouri, Jessica from Illinois, Lisa from Wisconsin, Jason, hey, ready, Rusty, lots of news, last couple days, fun stuff, yeah, Linda checking in, is an Indiana deplorable, Jessica from Illinois, Jessica, another Jessica says, how about that uranium deal, yeah, we've been talking about that, I got some more of that coming up in a minute. Uh, Jessica loves the stranglehold intro, yep, my my buddy uh, Uncle Teddy lets me play that on the the show. Unleash the Hounds, or Trey Gowdy on the the Russia thing, absolutely. Implode it, Russ man. Oh, I don't know what that means. Myrna's there. Myrna from Lafayette, California. Jessica's Mattis. Howdy from Texas. T. Wayne, deplorable from Ohio and Florida. Don't stop the GOP until the criminals are locked up. Glenn is there from Cleveland, Tennessee. John is the, yes, go get your uh, axe, your toys. Uh, Glenn has shared the video. Thank you. Janet checks in. Jeannie checked in from Ohio. Keep working on the breaking news. Phyllis, yes, more, 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 more. Okay, and Randy wants some upfront truth, uncensored political justice. All right, here we go. Kim wants to know if the video's working. I think it's working. It's working for me, anyway. So, anyway, share the video. Let's get her going. Okay, so let's go to the first story that I want to get on to that is a big, big deal that... Yeah, the mainstream media want to keep it quiet. And that, of course, is the Hillary, Hillary dossier payments broke the law. This is, yes, we do know that um, it was Hillary that worked with the Russians. We know Hillary paid for the um, FEC complaint. It accuses Clinton campaign and the DNC of violating campaign finance laws with the dossier um with the dossier stuff, let's see here. I don't know what's with dossier payments. Basically, you've heard the story that it was Clinton. We know that they Bill Clinton got money, Hillary got money. We know about the uranium deal. We've known about this for a long time. Now that that nasty uh, Trump dossier, the one where supposedly Trump was picking up Russian hookers and all kinds of stuff, and it was debunked fairly quickly because it looked a phony. Well, it was phony, and now we know that um, a complaint from the Campaign Legal Center said the Democrats effectively hid the payments from public scrutiny Contrary to the requirements of federal law, by law, campaign and party committees must disclose the reason money is spent and its recipients. Now, of course, the Democrats are going to go, oh, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. Everybody does it. And, and you know what? The whole thing with, the, with the Russia and Hillary, it's really, really no big deal. So um, pay no attention to it. That's what the Democrats are going to say. Well, I'm going to do a flashback. Let's go and remember how the media went hysterical when they thought Donald Trump Jr. Uh, was trying to get Russian dirt on Hillary Clinton, which is exactly what Hillary Clinton did do. Don Jr. asked about it. Hillary did it, and it appears that she used John McCain to release it. So let's, let's go back and remember a little fun time, shall right. we? I'm going to remember the fun times. Go ahead. Information, dirt on Hillary Clinton 
from the Russian government and expecting an agent of the Russian government to be providing it to him and having the meeting, showing and again signaling the Trump campaign is open for business. We will accept information no matter how it is obtained Can I stop this for legally second? or illegally. I can't. There we go. I tried to stop. And Hold that on. is potentially stop. a violation of the espionage, Jack. Yes, treason. We're, we're now beyond obstruction. Okay, okay I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it back in that in just a second. It's, it's something I pointed out the other night. And I want you to notice every time that a liberal, a really over-the-top liberal guy talks, he's very effeminate. Hi, I'm a Democrat. I'm a senator or a congressman, and I got no, I got no huevos, none whatsoever. So I talk like this um, because I don't want to show that I'm a man, because I'm a wussified, sissified, oprified, uh, wussy, candy ass. That's basically what they're saying when they say that to me. All right, let's get back to the Democrats uh, uh, yapping and a flapping, lying and a crying. Here we go of justice in terms of what's being investigated. This is moving into perjury, false statements, uh, and even into potentially treason. Uh, given that you say this meeting could border on treason, I want to broaden that out. Uh, does that mean that Paul Manafort, Jared Kushner uh, are bordering on treason as well, as, uh, along with Don Jr., and then also uh, that Michael Flynn is bordering on treason and that the president himself is bordering on treason because all of them have sought out damaging information when it, uh, about Hillary Clinton from the Russians. Thirdly, uh, there's outright treason. I mean, there is no question uh, that what he is doing is giving aid and comfort to the enemy. Donald Trump Jr., um, what he did was a threat to our democracy and borderline treason. Here's the Fox report in the New York Times article come very close, if not crossing the line, with respect to treason. If we, we've got to start being outraged. This is the scariest thing I've seen in my life in, in politics. Now, what's this mean legally in terms of the Constitution and high crimes and misdemeanors? Well, legally, this is a smoking cannon. Uh, first of all, you've got violations of the federal campaign laws. I think what we're learning uh, with the Trump Jr. meeting is when you meet with any Russians, you're meeting with Russian intelligence and therefore President Putin. Okay. Is there more? The or, criminal or, 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 activity, the unconstitutional activity of this president and his family. So I have dubbed them the... Uh, criminal clan. Alone. This is evidence of willingness to commit collusion. He's saying, yes, I had the intent to collude. I went in, I took the meeting, which by definition is colluding. <laughs> I, 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 he's admitted to the crime. Likely as many of us that worked on the campaign thought that the Trump campaign may have been colluding with the Russian government. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think you'd see a piece of evidence that would be as much of a smoking gun as this email. A senior advisor and someone who was in the top tier of the Trump campaign colluded through the classic dictionary definition of what that word means. Miriam Donald Trump Jr. gave us the dots. All we have to do is to connect them to see where this is going. Nice, funny. Oh, yeah. oh the, the comedy and the concern from the left. Man, are they quiet all of a sudden, aren't they? They ain't know nothing now, even though we appear to have the proof. And again, um, doesn't surprise us. We've been talking about this for months. We knew that the whole Russian thing with the Trump administration and with Donald Trump during the election was a lie. We knew it. And we, and we knew that Hillary was behind this because we knew Bill took money. We knew the Clinton Foundation got hundreds of millions of dollars from Russia. We knew that the uranium went there. And we know how the Clintons act. It's never a surprise when the Clintons commit a crime. Ever. It's never a shock. We... The sun will rise, the sun will set, the Clintons will do something shady. It's what they do. So I, I just don't know why this is a shock. Does this shock you? Does it shock you that the media got behind the Russia thing and pinned it on Trump when it was the Clintons the entire time? Does it shock you? Let me know right now. Comment right here, would you please? Comment right here. I want to. I want to know what you really think right now. Comment. Put your money where your mouth is. Put your name where your mouth is. Don't be anonymous. Let people know what you think. 
I want to know. While I'm waiting for your comments. Yeah, Jeannie doesn't shock Jeannie. All right, we got more. By the way, have you uh, shared the video? Please share the video. Please let people know. Please give me some thumbs up. We need to do what we can to get these videos out. We need to get the podcast out. We have to let people what's really going on. Okay. Let's see here. G says, doesn't shock me. Randy says, Dark Vader walks among us and everybody's still wearing blinders. Kevin says, the MAME scream media is operating under the premise that Russia wanted Trump elected. Clinton already proved that she would sell out her country for a large donation to the Clinton tax-free personal wealth building foundation or whatever they call that charity thing. Why Putin, why would Putin want to deal with a tough negotiator when he could have Hillary who would probably put national security secrets on her private server for the Russians to hack? For the right price. Hillary to the Russians is a known and predictable quantity. She'd have America torn apart and sold for parts faster than a Planned Parenthood clinic in downtown Beijing. How anxious was she to press that reset button? Or would that be the real resale button? Conversely, Trump is a stubborn, unknowable, drives a hard bargain and probably wouldn't take any borscht from Russia. With whom would you think Putin would rather deal with? Very well done, Kevin. Brian says, face it, Killary done made so much money, the government scares of her and O'Dummer along for the ride. Okay. Jerry says, my saying for Washington corruption, one's own fulfillment on earth is for a short time compared to God's judgment. Russ, you have a wonderful flight out on Halloween night. Uh, Myrna says it doesn't shock her. Jessica says, please talk about this news report. I don't know what news report you're talking about, Jessica. I'm sorry. Where is Sessions? Patricia wants to know. I'm with you. Where is Jeff Sessions? I wanted this prosecuted. I want this looked into. And if they didn't do anything, then fine. Tell me why. But don't have some kind of a whitewashed, phony baloney investigation that the only thing comes up is Monica Lewinsky. Don't do that. I'm sick and tired of these phony baloney um, waste of time investigations going on in Washington, D.C. And by the way, in today, today's Wednesday, tomorrow when I'm on the plane, they release they release all of the Trump, excuse me, the JFK documents. I want them all. I don't want any redactions. It's time. You know, that happened. That JFK was assassinated on the day my parents were supposed to get married. Okay? It was a long time ago. It's time we know the truth. JFK is gone. His wife is gone. His son is gone. His brothers are gone. It's time. I'm sick and tired of the conspiracy theories. Let's just get the truth out there. Don't you think? All right. David is not surprised. Frederick thanks Hillary for prison. Um, Glenn says, look out for more convenient suicides. Those close Clintonistas. Jessica has shared the video. Jessica, you rock. Uh, Tim thinks nothing's going to happen. Pamela shared the video. Pamela, you rock. Myrna shared the video. Myrna, you rock. Jason says, I'm sick and tired of the double standard. This is the sugar-free version. No explosives. Yeah, I want to know more, too. Ann says, doesn't surprise me. Jeannie says, if the Clintons are blaming you for something, that's exactly what they're doing. You are right on the money, Jeannie. Kathy says, it doesn't shock me, but what really puzzles me is why would the Democrats push this when they knew that Hillary and Obama were in collusion with Russia? I bet most people didn't know it. See, the, Obama's and Clinton's think they're so much smarter than everybody else. And they know that the media is in the tank for them, so they don't have to worry about as much. That's what I think. Ray says, Clinton should be gay at jail. Brian says he skips my comments skipping your comments i'm just reading what i read brian I, I get that a lot you're skipping my comments i can't read every single one i read as many as i can i skip through it i quickly glance and i, I move on okay connie thinks hillary's gonna walk away from this makes her sick marcia says only surprised that the truth of the truth is coming out should have happened a long time ago john says i'm surprised anyone could be surprised at the depths of depravity the clintons and the leftist movement can reach Carol says, I am not shocked, just sick. I am tired of the Clintons getting away with murder, literally and figuratively. Ugh, she says. 
News report I was talking about for Fox News where jobs are up, stock market is up, unemployment is down, business is increasing, the market is booming and increasing. Yes, the Trump economy is turning around. We all suffered on the Obama economy unless you were part of the elitist group, unless you were part of the banking industry, unless you were part of you know, the, the, the 1%. Then you did great under Obama. Other than that, most of us got screwed. I know I did. did you? Get, okay, let me ask you this honestly. Did you do better in the eight years under Obama or worse? I did way worse. I can do uh, two hands. Way, 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 way worse under Obama. And by the way, if I was doing better, I'd go, hey, I did great under Obama. I, I don't know anybody. I'm sure some people do. I, I don't know anybody that did better under Obama. Maybe you did. Please tell me. Kevin says, CNN is usually misleading us by comparing apples and oranges. Now they're trying to confuse us by throwing more fruit into the mix. But when you watch their chief news anchor, Don the Crier Lemon, uh, serve up that fruit salad they simply call news. You have to conclude that CNN has gone bananas. Thank you. Myrna thinks I am very fair and do a good job. Thank you, Myrna. I appreciate it. Jessica says, let's make this real. Blues just went up three to one. All right. Jessica, Jason says the FBI is allowing the informant to testify in front of Congress. Awesome. Jason said, okay, Jeannie did, okay, Christine did worse under Obama. Jeannie did way worse. Jason got royally effed under Obama. Pamela did much worse under Obama. Um... All right, I'll get some more of your comments and just say, oh, they just lift the gag order on that FBI guy. That's good news. That's good. But that's not news. That's not what's important. No, no, that's not what's important. You know what's important? You want to know the news that's really got the attention of the left right now? George H.W. Bush responds after an actress accuses him of sexual assault. Now, sexual assault is not funny. Um... But let's be honest. He's how old? Let, let me get cl- a close up on the on the story here. He is okay. Former President George H. W. Bush has responded after an actress alleges that he touched her inappropriately while he was sitting in his wheelchair during a photo op that took a place a few years ago. Okay, ladies, I'm going to need your help here because. I do believe that sexual harassment and inappropriate things should be exposed. And I'm not saying that George Herbert Walker Bush is a saint. I don't know him. And there were rumors back when he was president and stuff. But the guy's in his 90s. And he's in a wheelchair and he can barely move. He's got Parkinson's. Do you buy this story, or is this just another leftist just trying to get attention? Another Hollywooder? It's it's like okay, I'm in Hollywood. It happened to me too. Oh, eh, eh, me 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 too. It's it's like it's another thing in the cool kids club. Now now you got to have been abused. I, 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 and if it's the case, okay, I'm not trying to make light of it. But I think when you start coming out and saying the ninety something year old George Herbert Walker Bush uh, touched my hiney five years ago, maybe you're pushing it, but I'm not sure. I'd like to know from you ladies a little more of the story here. Um, in a now deleted Instagram post published on her verified account Tuesday, actress Heather Lynn wrote that she was disturbed by a photo she saw of President Barack Obama shaking hands with George Herbert Walker Bush in a gathering of ex-presidents organizing aid to states and territories. She said, I found it disturbing because I recognize the respect ex-presidents are given for having served. I feel pride and reverence toward many of the men in the photo. But when I got a chance to meet George Herbert Walker Bush four years ago to promote a historical television show I was working on, he sexually assaulted me. Now, those are pretty big words, sexually assaulted, right? I mean, I'm thinking rape. I'm, I'm thinking pretty big, right? I mean, that's a big, big deal, sexually assaulted. He didn't shake my hand. He touched me from behind from his wheelchair with his wife, Barbara Bush, by his side. He told me a dirty joke. And then all the white, all the while being photographed, he touched me again. 
Now, here's the picture. I wonder if I can get a blow up of it. Here's the picture. And, I mean, let's be honest, I can't see his hand. I mean, he could be grabbing the hiney right there. I mean, she's smiling. He's certainly smiling. Hey, 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 I'm smiling. But, um, and if if he was, Barbara couldn't see him. Nobody else. I mean, but but George Herbert Walker Bush, President Bush, has um, apologized. Oh, Jessica says I need a call in number to take this to another level. You can call me. You can leave a message at my Facebook, at my website. Go to RustyLive.com, and there is a place that you can leave comments. But again, the, the, another great way to be able to communicate with me is the new app I'm into. It's called Hear Me Out. Hear Me Out. You get it at the iTunes Store or Google Play. It's the one that's got the megaphone right there. And I am going to start. I started today. I've done a couple of them. There we go. But I'm going to start doing... Um, updates daily two or three or four times a day just little comments 40 seconds or less and you can listen to what i'm up to and i'm going to be you know in on an airplane i'm going to be in paris i'm going to be uh, in romania i'm going to be in transylvania on halloween i don't know what the wi-fi circumstances are going to be i don't know how if i'm going to be able to do the show or not here on Facebook and on Liberty One TV and all the other places. So the one thing I'm pretty sure you'll be able to do is hear me on Hear Me, the Hear Me Out app. doesn't cost anything. Just download it and make sure you find me and follow me. And then when you do that, you'll be able to hear it. should be fun. I want to try it out, and you can comment, and I'll read them. I'm really into this new app. It's a new thing I'm really into. So I hope you'll follow me and join me and share that. Because, again, we and I've talked to the owner of this thing. Okay, and right now it's mostly a bunch of kids rapping. So maybe I'll have to rap to be cool there. I probably won't do that much. But they want adults. And the owner is a guy who lives in Israel, and they created this. And they're looking for conservatives. They want us to go there and have a place where we can talk. Again, I don't trust these social media giants anymore, but this is a guy who actually talked to the the head guy, the Mark Zuckerberg of Hear Me Out. So Hear Me Out, go download that app, would you please, and follow me. Find me, Rusty Humphreys. I'm easy to find. Find me. Find me, find me, follow me. Hear Me Out app. Okay. Um. Anyway. Jessica says, by the way, Blues are up 3-1. St. Louis rocks. Thank you. Mary says, I don't believe anyone that waits for years to come out with such nonsense. That's one I'll stop you on. Because I do know of some people. By the way, I've not gotten enough shares of this video. Please share the video. We need more shares. We need more people watching. I do know of some women that were sexually assaulted. And they did wait because it did affect their careers. And they were afraid it would affect their careers. And it did. Now, this one, I don't know. But a lot of those ladies on Fox News, Jerry says, worse with Obama, unless you're the ones borrowing money. My wife and I are trying to protect our capital. Hard to do with very low interest rates over eight years now. Bush Clinton, a man is judged by the company he keeps. Okay. What is this story from uh, CNN? I pulled it up for some reason. Don't remember what it was. Let's let's just let's just see the story, shall we? Let's Listen back. There we go. Play the video. Video play. Play it. Go. 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 Stop playing. Guess it wasn't that big of a video. Go. Oh. Go. Ambassador to the UN, Nikki Haley, oh. forced to move from her location oh, yeah. okay, in the South Sudan. I know the story. Hold CNN on. CNN is on the ground with. Okay. I know the story. And I'm going to. The video's not working. So Nikki Haley, UN Ambassador Nikki Haley, goes to South Sudan. I've been to South Sudan, right? And she is meeting, she meets with the president of South Sudan, a guy who I've met too. And um, they uh, they got to pull her out because it's getting nasty there. South Sudan, there's a city called Juba. And I went to Juba. It's 
It's one of the worst places I've ever seen in my life. You've never seen anything as, as nasty and as awful as South Sudan. You got North Sudan and South Sudan. Here's the basic story. For a long time, it was just Sudan. In the north, it's Arab Muslims. In the south, it's black Christians. And one day, the Arab, the Arab Muslims said, um, oh, yeah, um, you guys in the south, you have a bunch of oil? Yeah, we do. We have oil. Isn't that cool? Yeah, we're going to take your oil, and then, because you're not Muslim, we're going to impose Sharia law on you. And we can take whatever we want because you're not Muslims. And they said, what are you talking about, Willis? And the Arab Muslim, North Sudan, said, yeah, yeah, we're just going to take whatever we want because you're not Muslims. And the black Christians in the South said, uh, no, you're not. And they went in the North, uh, yeah, we are. And they had a war for about 20 years and like millions of people died. It was terrible, terrible. Finally, that war is over. They split it into two countries. You got the North, again, Arab Muslims, South, mostly black Christians. Every single one of them? No. But mostly. And they're just trying to figure out how to get the money moving around. Now, it's funny how a lot of the rich guys keep the money. But it's a mess there. And now this, in, in the president of South Sudan, this guy with a hat, I'm blanking on his name, and because the video stuck, I can't remember it, but he's got the uh, cowboy hat he walks around. He's president. He was an arrogant SOB when I met him, but he's president of a country. They're all arrogant SOBs. It's just kind of the way it is. But um, we're not trusting him anymore, I guess. So we will uh, keep an eye on that story. That's one story. Another story, Corey Feldman back in the news. He's the guy... And I'll play a little bit of a video he's got out there. He's the guy, the actor from the 80s. And not that long, a couple years ago, he was saying, listen, there is a huge pedophile ring. Huge, huge pedophile ring in Hollywood. Please, people, listen to us. Please, I'm begging you. And Barbara Walters, yeah, you're just hurting people's feelings. Now, finally, they're coming out and saying there might be. Harvey Weinstein went after women. There could be pedophiles. Now, we've known for a long time this pedophile thing is bad, bad, bad in Hollywood. And now Corey Feldman's coming out. Let's see what he had to say quickly today on Facebook. Hi, this is Corey Feldman. I'm coming to you today to talk to you about what's on everybody's mind. I told everybody a few days ago that I had a plan to try and hopefully bring to light what is happening in the world of entertainment as far as perverts and pedophiles and all of the topics of what we've been discussing. Ever since I even discussed the fact that I have this plan, my life has turned into utter chaos. You can probably tell by the sound of my voice. It's pretty ripped up because of the devastation of what I've been through the past few days. I've experienced things like never before. I mean, I've been silenced my whole life, but just over the past few days since I made that announcement, I've been arrested. For marijuana. I had a near-death experience last night where I felt like I was almost going to be killed. Why? Uh, two trucks came speeding at me at the same time on a crosswalk. And then several of my band members decided to quit because they're afraid for their lives. I don't know what got into their heads. I don't know what they're afraid of all of a sudden, but they just left. And I'm very alone, but I need to protect myself and I need to protect my family. I need additional security and I need a legal team to help represent me so that I can fulfill this mission. What I'm proposing is a plan that I believe can literally change the entertainment system as we know it. And I believe that I can also bring down potentially a pedophile ring that I've been aware of since I was a child. Right off the bat, I can name six names. One of them who is still very powerful today. And a, a story that links all the way up to a studio. It connects pedophilia to one of the major studios. I 
I'm very afraid to do this. It's not easy. I've been living in fear and been living with this my entire life. As most victims have, I've been made to feel awkward, misunderstood, and I've been degraded at great levels. Rumors have been told, stories have been made up about me, and I've been insulted and degraded in ways that were unimaginable to me, all because they fear what I know as the truth. And I'm not alone. I know that there's thousands others that have experienced what I've experienced in the entertainment industry. I also know that there's peers of mine who know exactly what I'm talking about and know all the details but have been afraid to come forward with their own truths. I am using this to draw a line in the sand, to say to the Hollywood community, we are better than this. I know that we can stand together as one, we can be united, and we can create an affront those good people out there, there's plenty of them that I've become friends with over the years. They can help me right now. You guys can take my side and we can stand together. But additionally, not just the entertainment industry, the entire world, the entire planet can come together over this issue. Because our children are the most sacred things we have. Who could even dream of robbing an innocent child of their life experience. It's not fair and it must end. So I'm begging you to join me and let our voices be heard. I've lived in shame and fear my entire life and so have millions of others. And now we have the ability to let our voices be heard and break the dam of silence. I propose to do this by making a film that will be the most honest and true depiction of child abuse ever portrayed by telling my own story in a very real way, in a very honest way, with no editing, no censorship, no studio behind it. I will make the film, I'll direct the film, I'll produce the film, and I will self-distribute it to guarantee that it gets a theatrical release with your donations. Additionally, it will help me buy the security and the legal team that I need to protect my family until the project is released. And once it's done, I believe that we can revolutionize the film industry in a way that we can root out the evil and make it safe for our kids again. So please join me in this fight. I know that together we can stand strong. The time is now. I've had people on Twitter begging me to do this. And I need to tell you that with 30,000 new followers just in the last week, I know this is what everybody wants to know. Everybody wants the answer. Who did this? Who's responsible? They all want the answer. And all these people taunt me and tease me and bully me on social media on a daily basis. Every day when I go on Twitter, I have to be confronted with this topic that I do not want to have to think about again. But every day when I'm trying to live my life and do other things, and go on with my tour that I've worked so hard for. I had to lose all of that for this. And I'm willing to walk away from all of it if I can make a difference. And I believe that I can with this idea. So please join me and help me in making our voices be heard and making a change that can revolutionize the film industry save millions of children's lives and let the truth be told so that the people who have done this damage can come to their consequences they deserve. Justice will be served under God's name because this is about good and evil. At the end of the day, there is nothing more evil than people who want to take advantage of innocent children. Let's protect them together. God bless you. All right, that's Corey Feldman, and uh, a very, what I believe, uh, honest, heartfelt uh, message to the world. All right, that's about it for the program. I am heading to Romania. I will be there for a week. 
I will do my best to do the show. I might not be able to get the podcast, but I will try. I will try. If not, make sure you can find me on Facebook. And you can find me on Facebook at my Facebook page, Talk to Rusty, and Rusty, or just find me Rusty Humphreys. You can also find me, I'm going to start being seen on Liberty One TV. Also, you find this new app of mine, or not mine, but that I'm, that I'm into. Again, it's called Hear Me Out. And I'm just, here, I'll do one right now. Okay. I just hit this button, and I'm going to record. Okay. Yes, I'm live on the radio show and the Hear Me Out app. And it's very cool. And if you've never heard of me before, uh, follow me right now. If you've listened to the radio show and you're one of the millions of people that listen every day, follow me right here on the Hear Me Out app. It's very cool. I'm going to update it every day a couple of times a day. I'll be in Paris tomorrow and in Romania. I'm going to be in Transylvania on Halloween. So make sure you follow me. This is going to be a lot of fun. I love this app. So check it out. And uh, thanks for following. This is really cool. All right. I love it. I do, I do indeed. See you soon. And that's it. That's the whole, that's what happens. And then, um, I just kind of say it's, uh, me. And, uh, hashtag hang out with Rusty. So you can see it and you can find out what we did. We just did that together. How cool is that? All right, is that it? Thank you very much for for being there. I sure appreciate you. May God bless you. May God bless America. I'm Rusty Humphreys, and this is the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion.